it's time. What time, Grandpa Frank? Time to go and do something for someone else. Who is it today? Who's the victim? It's going to be Private Cameron Aiken. Last time I spoke to him, he was Cameron Aiken. Now, him alongside 11 Platoon are about to march out of Kapuka, and it's time for us to go. Time to do the proverbial. Wait for it. It's time to hit the road. This is what driving clothes should look like. Comfort, not fashion. So Kapuka is basically 500 k south of Sydney, Western Sydney, the Bronx. Well this is Thursday. As you can see it's flat out and it's only 4 o'clock in the afternoon on payday. <laughs> First impressions of Wagga, fantastic, damn clean. Beautiful, tidy town recipient. The only litter I found, I picked up. But where is Cam? Team, I've got about 772 pet hates, and one of them is full price coffee in cheap ass containers that gives your hand some sort of Joan of Arc persecution. Fuck, too hot to even hold. Doesn't make sense. Bang for your buck, not getting it. A bit worried at the moment. I haven't uh, had any contact from Cam in a week, and I need to know when the, uh, the march out of Kapuka is tomorrow. Have you jumped the fence, buddy? Where are you? All I'm hearing is crickets. Cricket, cricket. The Duke Hotel. The Duke Hotel Wagga Wagga. And when we say Wagga Wagga, we're not being racist. Greeks are allowed now. So that team 26 years ago I had my first beer in here and that's when I used to drink VB. Now we're on 4X Summer Bright. Light on the fizz, but you can drink it longer and you don't get arrested as often. So Vic Hotel, this one, we're back. And tomorrow, if Cam hasn't jumped the fence, you'll be in here too. Catch you later. That's through the Vic Hotel. This is where you're gonna be when you march out of Kabuka. This is John Graham. He's my mate that I made today. He goes back a couple more years than me and we're having a ball. Cheers, John. Thank you. Here's to another right. 20 years, mate. Yeah. Thanks, mate. I've known all three of these girls. What do you got? What's your wisdom point? Oh, keep on keeping on. Keep on <laughs> and if keep you go on. down, get up again and have another go. All and right. have another go. Yeah. Because I'm glad you said that they, think, right. they thought you were talking about safe sex for a second. <laughs> Thanks for your time. Right on, Good on you, Thanks for the drink. murder. What do you think these secret files might reveal? Uh, so here we go team. <clears throat> 27th of October 2017 and I'm about to go and watch uh, Cameron Aiken join the military. He's done his kapooka. Today's his last day he's march out. He's in 11 Mateen Bravo Company. He joined at the same time as I did 26 years earlier. He's in the same platoon that I was 26 years earlier and he's about to march out today. So, as a uh, representative of In the Trenches with Kaz, I understand you guys are with me in supporting Cameron here. Peace uh, represent. We're just going to do this journey together. I'm going to bring you his baptism, where he goes and becomes today a... At the roundabout, take the first exit onto Olympic Highway. A general service soldier, because he's not qualified at his specific trade yet. So, from here, culmination three months training he can now get posted anywhere or have his master changed you know if something was to occur in 600 beautiful bloody day i hope he faints 
At the round. Is the tallest guy on the parade, so it's not going to be hard to see the goofy bastard sticking out. So good luck to Cam, and today's all about Cam and Kapuka. So Cam, first impressions, mate. As a private. As a private. Gunner. Or a gunner. A gunner. Uh, didn't get our asses kicked this morning when we woke up. Sort of rhymes, doesn't it? Team, one of the things that really surprised me is um, how early it starts. Being here at 8.30 in the morning, considering people have come a long way. A long way to come and see uh, the march out, which means you better get here damn early. Yeah. Anyway. Just keen to get on and do some actual work yep. rather than holding and ironing. This is true. It's not a man's job. Is that what you just said? That's <laughs> sexist. <laughs> Here we are, we're about three kilometres from Kapuka now. I already feel like I need another haircut. Yeah. It has that sort of impact on people. We're going to see some sights, it's going to be funny. It's going to uh, take me back in history. No, glad I was never a Kapuka instructor. Infantry instructor is a better way to go, because you're not actually an instructor. It's not about yelling, it's about leading and mentoring. And you're more of a sex commander, and it's more skill based. Yeah. Kapuka's more the basics. If you go there, yeah, you're not even allowed to really have that uh, bridge out gap of familiarity with the soldiers. So I don't see where the pleasure comes from. Personally, as a Kapuka instructor, I think they're fucking weirdos. Well, this is the last thing you're going to see when you join the military, when you're in the bus and you're coming down here. There you go. Courage, initiative, respect, teamwork. All the things you're going to give up to make it through here safely. In 500 metres, <laughs> turn right onto Camp Access Road. Forty zone. If I was running right now, I'd probably get done for speeding. Over. All the way from Adelaide. No, Western Australia. <laughs> Don't say it. What have you got to say to Cam? Oh, good luck. I hope you go as far as possible. Is he buying his dinner? Probably oh, no, not. It's about time we bought him dinner. <laughs> On parade is the 11th platoon, commanded by Lieutenant Monica Sell, for all Australian Corps of Signals. The session commanders are Corporal Thomas Quirk, Royal Australian Infantry. Corporal Sean Bowles, Royal Australian Army Ordnance Corps. Corporal Tim Adamson, Royal Australian Armoured Corps. Corporal Doug Ward, Royal Australian Army Ordnance Corps.
men can buy a billabong under the shade of a kulaba tree. And he sang as he watched and waited till his billy was. You'll come a waltzing Matilda with me. Waltzing Matilda.